Superhero games and Easter eggs usually go hand in hand. You only have to look at the sheer amount of Easter eggs in both Spider-Man on the PS4 or the Arkham series for proof of that. So when I heard that Square Enix were developing an Avengers game, I was prepared for another Easter egg field comic book game. But Avengers isn't that. There's a really strange lack of Easter eggs in Marvel's Avengers. So much so that after completing the campaign, I deleted my save file and played through the campaign again to make sure I hadn't missed anything. What I have for you today is all of the Easter egg secrets and references that I've managed to find in Marvel's Avengers. Of course, I'd love to be proved wrong and find out that the game is actually a treasure trove of Easter eggs. And if you think you know of any Easter eggs in the game that I may have missed, the best place to let me know is in the comments section or on my social media accounts, the links to which are in the description. Oh, and if you do go on to enjoy this video, then leaving a like, subscribing or turning notifications on is really appreciated. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. First up, let's check out a couple of small references to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. At this point, the MCU is one of the biggest entertainment properties in the world, so it's no surprise to see a couple of very small nods to it in the Avengers game. The first reference can be found during the A-Day celebrations at the beginning of the game. Next to the Black Widow stand, you can find this. So this is a shawarma stand. Now I know what you're thinking, how is a shawarma stand linked to the MCU? Well, fans of those films may recall the end credit scene from the first Avengers movie, where a battered and bruised gang of heroes decided to take a load off at a shawarma shop. You ever tried shawarma? There's a shawarma joint about two blocks from here. I don't know what it is, but I want to try it. Anyway, the next MCU reference can be heard when the Hulk goes down in combat. We don't have a Hulk! So Thor says we don't have a Hulk, which is a reference to this scene from Avengers Infinity War. We have a Hulk. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the Avengers memorabilia you can find when playing as Kamala. Regular viewers of my channel will have already seen these in my video game Easter egg series, but I've chose to include them here as not everyone would have watched that video. After you take control of Kamala in your hunt for Jarvis, you come across a room containing Thor's cup. I think this belonged to Thor. Maybe it's a secret lever? Oh, no, it's just a cup. The first Stark Gold. Why display pyrite when you can afford the real thing? I should keep looking. Iron Man's first gauntlet prototype. The Mark I. Did he plan to come back for all this someday? A guitar that Pepper Potts gave to Tony Stark. From Pepper to Tony. I know I shouldn't be freaking out right now, but I'm freaking out. Tony Stark's guitar! Captain America's first shield. Cap's first shield. This was on display at A-Day. You don't open a secret passageway, do you? Worth a try. And a model of the iconic Avengers West Coast building. West Coast office. Huh, surprised he kept this. Still no sign of Jarvis. Now, I'd hardly call these Easter eggs. After all, they're pretty hard to miss, but they are cool references that deserve a place in this video. Our next discovery of note can be found aboard the Chimera. When you gain access to Kamala's room, if you interact with her laptop, this will happen. better. So that was Cheap Frills by Sia. Our next discovery can be found near the war table. Oh, so awesome. This thing belongs in a museum. 
So not only is this Captain America's shield, something you'd definitely expect to see in an Avengers game, but Kamala's dialogue references this scene from Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. This is the second time I've had to reclaim my property from you. That belongs in a museum. So do you. Up next are a few references that can be heard from Iron Man. Much like his movie and comic counterpart, Iron Man in the Avengers game is full of witty one-liners mixed with an equal amount of eye-rolling puns. But some of his lines are more than just jokes. Take this next clip for example. Early in the game, Kamala is contacted by someone going by the name of Tiny Dancer. Tiny Dancer warns Kamala of an incoming aim attack and seems to be on Kamala's side. Well, it doesn't take long for Tony to start poking fun at Tiny Dancer's name. What is this? Who is who is Tiny Dancer? Oh no. We gotta get out of here. What? You know this shameless Elton John fan? They helped me get out of Jersey. I wouldn't be here if they hadn't warned me about AIM. Really? Tiny Dancer? Look, we really should go. Now. I would have gone with Rocket Man. So as Tony alludes to, Tony Dancer is a song by Elton John, which you may or may not recognize. Tony also says that he would have gone with Rocket Man, which is kind of who he becomes when he dons the Iron Man suit and is also a song sung by Elton John. A little further on, you have to help Tony find his makeshift Iron Man gear. It's during this scene you can spot this. Let's get airborne. So this almost blink and you'd miss it business card is advertising Alias Investigations, the detective agency owned by fellow Marvel hero Jessica Jones. I know we see references to other businesses in the Marvel Universe in this game, particularly the Daily Bugle, but this one was well hidden enough to warrant a mention. Another reference mentioned by Tony Stark is this. The dropship was moved to a more secure location ahead. We can't get there before it takes off. We can if we overcharge the suit by 300% and take the direct route. Sir, you might literally explode, and that canyon is treacherous. Sure, but I feel the need for speed. Do it, Goose, and play something fast. So that was a reference to the Tom Cruise movie Top Gun, where Cruise's partner was nicknamed Goose, and they both felt the need for speed. I feel the need, the need for speed. The final reference to movies made by Tony that I've managed to find can be heard when calling in the Hulkbuster suit. Who are you gonna call? Hulkbuster! So that was an obvious reference to the Ghostbusters. So the final and by far coolest easter egg in Marvel's Avengers involves Thor's hammer. After completing the campaign, if you head to Thor's quarters, you will find his trusty hammer, Mjolnir. Now the cool thing is, you can attempt to lift it with all of the Avengers with some surprising results. Thor? Still not worthy. Boy, Thor really knows how to decorate. Good hammer. Stay. Get there. Hmm, cozy. One of these days. How does Thor get his room to smell this good? It's gotta have a candle hiding somewhere. Not so scary, are you?
Thor? Well, I guess he's not home. Where'd he get all this stuff? So, out of all the Avengers, only Captain America was able to move the hammer. Of course, we've seen that Cap is deemed worthy in the comics and in the MCU, as he seemed to move the hammer in Avengers Age of Ultron before finally wielding it in battle against Thanos in Avengers Endgame. So that's it. I really hope that isn't all there is to find in this game, so I'm counting on you guys to come up with the goods. As far as the game goes, it has its bugs, not being able to replay missions is a massive oversight, and I'm not too fussed about the multiplayer, but apart from that, I had fun. The campaign is entertaining, and Kamala is a really cool character, something which the marketing and beta failed to show. Also, this may just be me, but having grown accustomed to their MCU counterparts, I can't shake the feeling that the Avengers in-game feel like knockoff versions of the MCU guys. That may just be me, and if I'm honest, I'm not sure what Crystal Dynamics could have done to shake this feeling, but I thought it was worth mentioning. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, then leaving a like, subscribing, or turning notifications on is really appreciated. If you are a fan of easter egg secrets and small details in games, then perhaps consider subscribing, as that's what this channel is all about. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll speak to you all soon.